the thing that you can do the most for yourself is to believe in yourself and your diagnosis. You know you've got a diagnosis. You know you've got celiac disease. So you, you don't really need to convince anyone of anything. Welcome to the Healthy Celiac Show. I'm your host, Belinda Whelan from belindawhelan.com. And here you will learn to live your very best life with celiac disease. So we are gonna be talking all about health-related topics because you, my friend, are more than just a woman with celiac disease. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss an episode and welcome to the show. Welcome back to the Healthy Celiac Podcast. Now, on this week's show, I thought it would be helpful to give you some ways to talk to people in your life that maybe aren't respecting you or believing you when it comes to talking about your diagnosis and living gluten-free because unfortunately there's some real douchey people out there that don't have trust in us and don't respect us and depending on who that person is you may need to have a really important conversation with them or you may need to just walk away from them you know some people we can't avoid some people we are around all the time and it's easier to let them know how we're feeling than just walk away. But it, like I said, it just depends on who that person is in that situation. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you some, some ways that you might be able to talk to people about the situation. So let's just say that someone is making you feel really upset and really uncomfortable and they're putting it down putting you down when it comes to your celiac diagnosis or living gluten free and you know maybe you're being told that it's a fad because a lot of people do believe that eating gluten free is a fad because lots of people do eat it for dietary reasons and when i say dietary reasons not because i've got celiac disease because they think it's going to work for weight loss and when people do it for that reason, it does make us, I guess, look a little bit like it's not as important. Because when people hear gluten-free, they just think, oh, we're just on a diet. It's just a phase. It's just a fad. Rather than we are doing it for our health. We are doing it because this this is the way that we heal our body. This is the way that we stay healthy. And I've said it before, this is a prescription to our health. This is the only prescription that we get to be healthy is to eat gluten-free 100% of the time. So we don't have a choice in the matter of how we treat our bodies. This is the only way that we get to do it. So when someone makes us feel like we're not validated and makes us feel that it's not important, it's, it's upsetting. It makes us feel hurt. So we need to tell that person, hey, look, you know, I'm not doing this because it's a fad. I'm not doing this as a phase. I'm doing this because this is a prescription to my health. This is what I have to do to stay healthy. If I don't eat gluten-free, I get very, very sick. I don't need you to, you know, go and eat gluten-free as well. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm just asking you to be supportive of me and my diagnosis. And if you can't do that, at least respect me. Something along those lines, okay? You can you can say that to someone and you might need to practice it in your own time. You might need to have these little comebacks in the back of your mind so that you know what to say in that moment when someone comes at you and makes you feel upset. Now, you might need to put boundaries in place and you might need to just simply say to someone, you know, if you can't respect my needs, then I'm not talking about this with you further. You know, let's just... Let's just not talk about it. Let's not discuss it. Fine. End of conversation. Keep it like that. Keep it blunt. Keep it brutal. <laughs> and just and just leave it at that. And if they keep bringing it up, then, then they need some education, don't they? They need to probably be sent some links and some info for them to read about the importance of celiac disease and the importance of eating gluten-free. All right? So you might want to go down that avenue. But the, the thing that you can do the most for yourself is to believe in yourself and your diagnosis. You know you've got a diagnosis. You know you've got celiac disease. So you, you don't really need to convince anyone of anything. You just need to know deep down in your soul that this is what you're doing for your health and this is what you're doing for you, okay? So if someone says something to you that, oh, oh you don't have celiac disease or, 
oh sure as if you have to eat gluten free because it's a it's for your health say to them this is what i need to do for my health if i don't do this i'm going to get very very sick you know this could turn into other autoimmune diseases this could very easily lead to cancer this is what i'm doing for my health and this is what is important to me so i need you to respect me so we do need to be very upfront with people and we do need to talk to them about it but if someone keeps attacking you and someone keeps making you feel that the conversation is going nowhere then you can say to them you're making me feel upset you're making me feel hurt and i'm not talking about this right now with you i'm going to take a breather i'm going to go away for a few minutes and if you're ready to listen to me and you're ready to have a decent conversation with me when i come back then let's do that otherwise i'm not prepared to talk to you about this anymore how does that feel how does that feel when you listen to those types of conversations have you had conversations like this in the past where you haven't known what to say or have you had conversations where you've been able to turn that person around and get them on your side or have you lost friendships or relationships with people because they won't come around to you these are the things that we have to deal with and it's heartbreaking that there aren't supportive people out there for all of us and i'm a big believer in in life we have you know one very short life on on this earth and we get to spend it how we want to spend it we get to spend it with people that we want to spend it with and it's up to us to probably pick and choose those friendships and you know spend more time with people that are supportive of us find your tribe find your people that are going to be there for you find those people that you know have your back that do things for you to support you you know though the, those are the people that book the restaurant that they know you can get a gluten-free meal at those are the people that invite you no matter what because it's up to you whether you get to go to that restaurant or not it's not up to them to go oh no i'm not going to invite belinda this week because pff, she's not going to want to eat there no you want those people that put you at the forefront of their mind and are supportive of you and your celiac diagnosis and I've talked about this in other episodes and sometimes, you know, even our own family can't be supportive. Our own blood doesn't even want to look after us. So it's about spending minimal time with those people if it makes you feel upset, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, if they're not going to get on board with you. So for those of you that have got access to Ultimate Celiac System, we talk about this much deeper in the course and i've got some really great resources with you for you in that course as well that can help you further but i thought these little conversations might help all of you as well for what to say and how to react and and talk further about this topic so i i really hope that this has helped i would love feedback from you i'm always open to hearing from you guys so please send me through a dm over at the healthy celiac um, on Instagram or you can shoot me through an email as well so you can find me info at belindawheelan.com so Whelan is spelt w-h-e-l-a-n so yeah that's info at belindawheelan.com and I would love to hear from you and if you if you want to hear more about this topic please go ahead and sign up for Ultimate Celiac System because I've got some really great resources for you in there even some email templates email templates that you can send out to people if you find it hard to talk to people in person because sometimes the written word can have a deeper meaning for people they can hear it better when they're reading it so yeah there's something to think about if you need more support in that area but otherwise thank you so much for listening and i look forward to talking with you guys again next week have a great week take care bye if you enjoyed this episode, head to BelindaWhelan.com to get yourself a free copy of my exclusive ebook, 11 Mistakes People Make Going Gluten-Free Living with Celiac Disease.